instead of penny pinching at home, a rising number of Australian pensioners are moving overseas to live in luxury. For more on this, we're joined by co-founder of Aspire Retire, Olivia Maragna. Good morning to you, Olivia. So why are more and more Australians opting to retire overseas? Good morning, Peter. And I think, look, it's just the cost of living here in Australia. So that's certainly a motivation for retirees to consider looking overseas. Uh, we've still got a lot of retirees, uh, I guess, still recovering from the global financial crisis. Um, and there's also places like your Airbnb that are allowing people to go and live overseas but still earn some money off their, their personal homes here in Australia. So what are the top retirement havens around the world? Is Del Boca Vista one of them in Florida? <laughs> well, we've got Panama, we've got Ecuador, we've We've got Mexico, Costa Rica and Colombia uh, are some hot spots. Over in Europe, we've got Spain and Portugal. And uh, certainly the Asian region is po uh, popular as well. So we've got Malaysia and Thailand there as well. I'll tell you what, it all sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Where are the majority of Australians receiving the age pension choosing to live? Well, it's certainly La Dolce Vita, so the sweet <laughs> life, as they say in Italy, and why not good food, good people, and uh, great vino, oh, yeah. as, they, as they say. So other popular European destinations, Greece, Spain, and also the Netherlands, and our next-door neighbours, New Zealand, uh, are the top five uh, that round it up. OK, well, that's, that sounds all well and good, but what are some of the traps that people need to look out for? Well, I think particularly if you're looking at retiring overseas, you've got to think long term. So where do you want to be uh, when it comes to aged care? So the services and health, uh, I guess, services that you're looking for. Um, the biggest thing, look, I think is grandkids. Grandkids will always pull you home. So if you've retired and you don't yet have grandkids, mm. uh, think about what's going to happen when grandkids come along. Um, and certainly you've got to keep in mind things like tax. So if you're a non-resident, mm. your taxes are going to change. Centrelink may reduce as well. Um, but also if you've got your own super fund, uh, really important important to make sure that you're aware that there are residency rules around that so make sure you're seeking advice before heading overseas. All right well there are some of the traps what are some of the tips? Well, I think certainly if you're considering looking to retire overseas, if you're doing it because you feel as though you don't have enough in uh, your superannuation, it's not too late to start planning. So um, if you don't have enough, make sure that you are looking at consolidating your super, maybe salary sacrificing, and really looking at where your monies are invested, uh, particularly within your superannuation fund, to make sure that you actually have enough. Because like I said, a lot of people are flocking overseas uh, because they don't have enough. Look at the real issue as to whether or not you're actually prepared for retirement and take the action now so that you do have that full choice in retirement to maybe consider staying here and enjoying uh, your long-term, uh, I guess, life and, and grandkids and all those sort of things here in Australia. Great advice. Olivia Maragna, thank you very much there.